Hello, and welcome to another episode of Brettcast, my thoughts on... Yes, this is a scam video, and no, it's unfortunately not a scam baiting video. But yes, I basically fell for a scam and will never get my money back from this one. How did this happen? Well, let me tell you about it. For a while, I've been looking for a certain Frame Arms model kit, which is the Frame Arms Stylet, the blue one. The only place I could find it in stock is Plaza Japan, which of course is basically getting the kit shipped from Japan to the US, which is going to take forever. It's also not in stock at the moment that I made this video. So I was browsing on the shopping tab on Google, and a few times I came across a website called Son of Artemis Toys that had the exact frame arm stylet that I wanted for its retail price. Now, the first few times I never bought the kit, then a few days ago I decided to take the chance on this website and order the kit. Then I made a post on one of my Facebook groups about it, and the first comment was about this website is not legit and is just out to cut collect credit card information. I will admit that I should have done the research into this website before I went and gave them almost $40, but I'm not here to complain that I basically lost almost $40 forever. I am making this video to let all of you out there know that this website is a bunch of crap. So let's analyze the crap out of this website. Let's start with their address and their email. Their address on their website says 527 Tater Patch Road, Chicago, Illinois, United States. Now, you're probably thinking that this address is a bunch of made-up crap. What happens when you Google Maps the address? Well, it places the location right here where I drew the red circle with the X. Now, what happens if you regular Google search the address? Well, it seems that Son of Artemis Toys shares its quote-unquote address, real address, with a store called Ignite Collection, which doesn't have the best record with the Better Business Bureau. What about the email? Let's first note that they use a Gmail for business. A free email for business. Now, doing research on their email address, I get this. A website called Signal Arni Arniquis, I think is how you say it? I don't know. They have a report on the email and the whole site itself. The report is dated 7-21-2020 and calls the email address as fraudulent. The contents are, website seems fishy. I placed an order almost a week ago and besides the email saying that my order was received, I have gotten zero information about shipment details. I emailed them a few days ago with the information provided on their site and the shipment said ugh, sorry I messed all of that up and they said shipment will be within one to two weeks and to reach out if I had any further question. I emailed them today demanding a refund if I can't get shipping information. I did a check of the address that the business was registered to and it doesn't exist. Also, the same address and phone number is used for a similar scam website called Ignite Collection. The email format is almost the same, ending in .sp at gmail.com, and they both use the fake address of 527 Tater Patch Road, Chicago, Illinois 60607, United States, and the same phone number. Now, I just want to take a look and read the top five comments on this particular website article. The first one says, Ordered about 15 days ago and have not heard anything. This seems kind of like a common thread about this site. The next comment says, Not legit, a scam. The comment after that says, Ordered something a few hours ago and I regret everything. I didn't do the research and fell for this trap. How do I get a refund if I can't even get one? Now this comment is basically me after I placed my order and then found out that this website is a bunch of crap. The next comment is a reply to the previous one that says, The only thing you can really do is dispute the charge. If you used a covered credit card, do it immediately. 
If you used a debit card, you might be stuck. Either way, they have your credit card info and can continue to scam you and pass your info on to others. What you need to do is cancel the card you used, credit or debit, cancel it and have them send you a new one with a new number. Otherwise, it's almost certain your still valid info will be used multiple times. This is again probably the place that I'm going to be in. The final comment says, not 100% sure, only 99.5% sure, sure it's a scam. Ordered Fortress Maximus for $104.99, where it's around $300 everywhere else. Ordered August 4th, other than the automated email reply. There's no replies from seller. Noted fraud on my credit card and get to get my money back. Lesson learned. Yeah, lesson learned indeed. Something that I noted is that on my bank account, it lists the charge as going to a Fundly account. It's odd because Fundly is a website for raising money for whatever, either as an individual or a nonprofit group. So, did my almost $40 go to some random fundraiser? Or something. There are a few Reddit threads on this particular website, Son of Artemis, as well. I picked the one that summarized everything up nice and neatly. Why Son of Artemis is a scam. Here are a few of my major points, all of them red flags. Point one Recent domain evidenced by I can look up made July 8th of this year. So that means the domain name was registered on July 8th, 2020. Misrepresentation of customer base size in description. One or er, 10,000 customers, my left asterisk, and their About Us page, it says that they serve almost 10,000 customers. Terrible site construction and toy is the only category, even for paint. There is no product page. This shit was cobbled together in a day. Now see, when I've looked at it, there actually is. There is a toy category and a clean category. I, I don't know. I didn't actually look to see what was in clean, but yeah. They sell USA Gundam Store shirts, even though they are not affiliated. That's very odd. Stolen phone number belonging to capital management guy and a non-existent physical address. That's been a common thing that other people have said as well. Contact info is also shared with a different suspicious site, Ignite Collection, which shows up in Google Shop results, that has bad history with the Better Business Bureau. That's, again, something that has come up as well. They are apparently offering Vargal pre-orders when the last US order period was a few months ago. They just straight up stole the description and it reads estimated arrival in April or May. What a bunch of hosers. And finally, searching up kits like the real grade red frame shows they have at least three separate entries, each ripped from somewhere different in order to inflate their presence in your search result. Now, I'm not quite done for this video with the investigation of the site. The last point I find very interesting, and I want to try it myself. So let's do some of that and some other things. Now, I can't get a good picture, but when I click on categories, they have toy and clean. Anyway, I searched up on their site the Master Grade Astray Blue Frame and found something interesting. Now I have highlighted in red, green, and blue the interesting things that I have found. The first one in red is listed as Gundam Astray Blue Frame Type D1100 Master Grade with a picture of the box art and a price of $49.99. The next one highlighted in green is listed as Gundam Seed Astray 1100 Master Grade Gundam Astray Blue Frame D MBF P03D model kit with a picture of the box art with a price of $50.99. The third one, highlighted in blue, is listed as Gundam Seed Astray 1100 Master Grade Gundam Astray Blue Frame D MBF P03D model with a picture of the built kit, probably one of the promotional images of the kit with a price of $49.99. Now let's go further and look at 
each of the three individual listings of this one kit. Clicking on the first one that was highlighted in red, you get the usual stuff. The description says the same as the title and the kit has no reviews. Simple as ever. I clicked on the second listing, the one that was highlighted in green. There was a difference compared to the first one. The description reads, Gundam Seed Astray 1100 Master Grade Gundam Astray Blue Frame D MBF-P03D Model Kit. A unit secretly constructed at Ame no Mahashira from the Gundam Seed Astray manga series. I do apologize if I said any of that wrong. It features a Dragoon body sword that can combine and separate into different configurations as all as a modif as well as a modified ale striker pack. Combined sword length is taller than the Gundam itself. Runner times 24, foil sticker times 1, dry transfer times 1, tetron sticker times 1, instruction manual. Approximately over 7 inches tall. You could have just said approximately 7 inches tall because saying approximately could mean more or less. You don't have to say approximately over or approximately under. There is also no reviews for this kit but the interesting thing about this description is that it sounds like it's from the second revise because that kit has a huge sword. However, that large sword is not called the body sword. I clicked on the third listing and it has a description that is completely different from the other two. It reads, bullet point one, Gundam Astray Blue Frame D from, quotes, Mobile Suit Gundam C Destiny Astray B, joins the Master Grade line series. Sorry, that was, part of that was in caps. Inner structure based on human anatomy. This is bullet point two. Inner structure based on human anatomy that is distinctive of Astray series. Realizes both wide range of motion and perfect shape. Bullet point three. The gimmick to unite the Dragoon that represents weapons of Blue Frame D and the big sword can be recreated. I must have retracted. Oh my god. You can. Bullet point four. You can attach the striker on its back. Includes display, a display base to show it in a flight situation. Bullet point. Whatever the next one. Words of caution and markings on the body can be expressed with included marking stickers and Gundam decals. The next bullet point includes 1 100 figures of Guy Murakuma and Else. Else. Wood? Weiss? El Ice Weiss? I don't know how to say the name. Sorry. And the final bullet point Runner X25 Foil Sticker X1. Dry Decal X1, Petron Sticker times 1, Instruction Manual times 1. So that last point in that Reddit post is correct, that if you search for something on Son of Artemis, you will get three results, with each one being different, probably because they just took them from other websites. Moving on, let's look at the About Us page. Son of Artemis is one of the largest online stores for toys in the world. With nearly 10,000 customers, we are thrilled to be one of the must-trusted and visible online brands for toys. We offer everything you need for our customers, hyphen, toy lovers, and a newsletter packed with sales and valuable news information. We are honored to have your business. Wow, there is just so much wrong with this about us. And it's so short. Here's how I would fix it up to make it look a little more believable. The other thing that I noticed is that the pages for their privacy policy and their terms of service are exactly the same. Also, if you click on newsletter at the top right corner of the site, it just takes you back to their home page. I know I've been going on and on about this site and that this video is kind of long. I just don't want any of you to make the same mistake as I have and that many people also have made. I'm going to end this with talking about me and my order. I placed my order on the 
5th of August 2020, I have the order confirmation email, and that's it. Not a single word from them past that. On August 7th, 2020, I sent them an email saying that I want a refund because the site is a scam. As of writing this script, it's August 12th, 2020, and I have not heard a peep back from them. As I said, according to my bank account, the payment went to a Fundly account, and Fundly accounts are used for raising money for stuff. Most online stores I order from, they usually ship within a week or less. It's been, and it's been exactly a week since I ordered. Perhaps I will make a little update on the 19th when it has been exactly two weeks from my order. Anyone watching this, especially those who are interested in toys or model kits of any kind, the higher end stuff, uh, stay away from Son of Artemis. One thing I want to note that I didn't earlier is that when I paid, they make you enter your card information directly into their site, and they do not offer PayPal as an option. Stay away from Son of Artemis. It feels like a scam website, just like a lot of people are reporting and saying that they are paying for things and never receiving them after weeks of waiting. Hell, never even getting shipping notifications. I actually saw a couple comments on that Signal Aquarius website. Um, I saw comments on the one that said that people received, like, shoes or something in the mail. Other research yields that when people call their number, no one picks up and they can't leave a voicemail because voicemail's full. I've also found that when people email about a refund, they never get a response. And the only emails that get response are about shipping delays and are responded by saying it's because of all the pandemic stuff. I know I've said this twice already, but please... Stay away from Son of Artemis Toys, as it is most likely a scam. That's all I have to say, so if you're not at the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening, and goodbye.